Caterpillar 323DL is an excavator in the 25 ton weight class. And on this model by Norscott is fitted with a Caterpillar H120E hammer. As you would expect it comes in the standard Caterpillar style of branded box that's used for all of Caterpillar's mass produced scale models. There's no information about the real machine but there is some information about the model. The box is factory sealed and when the tape is slit you can look forward to seeing how many ties have been used to keep this model attached to its base. And the answer is... 3. Which is not too bad. Anyway, after the usual struggle you can unwind the ties and eventually free the model from them. There's no assembly to do on the model and the only thing left to do is to take a last piece of packaging off the crawler tracks. Looking underneath there is some detailing of the metal track pads and it's good to see that there's also detailing of various panels underneath the body. There are no working rollers on the track frame but at least there's some detail within the casting. The cab is reasonable with a plastic grab rail and mirror on the outside and it looks like the window in the roof should open but in fact it doesn't. At the rear the curved body shape is captured well, the graphics are sharp and the stop lights are just painted. There are lifting eyes modelled at the top of the counterweights but they don't have holes in. There's a large access handrail at the front that's quite fat and it's made of plastic. Up on top of the body there's texturing of the walking surfaces and there's plastic hydraulic hoses leading to the pipes on the boom. The detailing of the hydraulics continues with more hoses across the boom stick connection and it's good to see the connection rivets are small and painted. The hammer is quite a good part, it's metal with enough detail to be interesting and the chisel at the end is plastic. Sometimes it's good for companies to run incentive schemes as a way of encouraging their staff. Out on the test track the tracks won't bite on a smooth surface but they are very free rolling. They are spring loaded to keep the tension up and if you try them out on some rough terrain then they work really really well. Sometimes it's nice to spin around in circles and that works well on the Model 2, it's smooth without any rocking. In recent years Norscott has had the sole licence to make Caterpillar's mass produced scale models. But that changed in 2012 with Tonkin Replicas getting a licence. Perhaps a consequence will be that Norscott can now make more models for other manufacturers and in fact in the past they did make a couple of Liebherr models. So it will be interesting to see how Norscott moves forward in 2013 and beyond. Moving on to the front end and the hydraulic rams are stiff enough to hold any pose. But the rams on the boom and stick do have a strangely limited amount of movement and it seems to be caused by where the hydraulic hose is go into the ram jacket. It looks like the piston clashes with the connection point inside, therefore limiting the amount of movement. The hammer's got quite a nice little feature because the chisel is spring loaded. So if you like you can hammer away at your desktop. Why you might like to do such a thing though is hard to imagine. In most respects this is a typical Norscott Caterpillar model, it's solidly made and the details and features are reasonable. It's good to see a cat machine with special tools, but this version is quite a bit more expensive than the digger version. With that said, if you can forgive the posing limitations, then it's recommended. 